And the immune system understands that very well. Um, I, I do a workshop called the, Does the Immune System Have Morals? And, and it does. Um, we have the it, the, it was thought that the immune system was a, an, an autonomic system, just like the nervous system, that it did things on its own. It didn't really communicate very much, maybe every once in a while with hormones, uh, maybe some with, with, the, uh, with the nervous system, but never with thoughts or emotions. And uh, George Solomon, who was one of my mentors, um, was a psychiatrist at UCLA, and he invented the word psychoimmunology because he trained rats to... Um, teach the immune system to, to make changes. So he called it psychoimmunology. In those days, they laughed him out. He lost all his grants and his research and everything. And then 10 years later, Bob Ader, a psychologist, did some research training rats with lupus to reduce the, the lupus uh, symptoms. Uh, and then all of a sudden, they went looking for George Solomon so he could teach them what <laughs> they thought was uh, not real. And what they did was the rats, is that uh, the, these rats were, were designed for lupus. And lupus is an autoimmune illness that causes inflammations and a vari variety of tissue damage. And what they did is they did a classical conditioning of the rats. They gave them uh, a sugary type of, uh, of uh, liquid. And at the, at the time they were giving them the liquid, they gave them a shot of an immune suppressor drug, very strong immune suppressor. So as you repeat this over and over, you create a classical conditioning. And the rat only needed to drink the, fl the uh, fluid and the lupus symptoms would drop because there would be immune suppression. So the immune system has memory, it, ha it, it can learn, and it has a quantum way of doing things. It has a local and non-local kinds of way of doing things. And, um, and out of the real, you know, some <laughs> weird things that I do, I do executive coaching, teaching executives how to stay healthy, but how to create systems based on how the immune system makes decisions. Because most executives are very narcissistic, and they think they make a lot of decisions. The immune system probably makes 100,000 decisions a second. Uh, and how do you do that? Well, it doesn't work pyramidal. You don't have a CEO. It doesn't work that way. It has two principles. It has the principle of distributed control, which means that the control is wherever you need it. That when you have an infection, you don't send a signal to the brain. It doesn't work that way. Whatever neutrophils or whatever is going around there will start acting there at the local level. And the other part is you have distributive control and local intelligence. The system gives intelligence to the locality, where it, wherever it is. It doesn't ask the CEO, is it okay if I go ahead and start fighting this uh, foreign body? You do it, and then the rest of the body begins to pick up on some of these things. And, and it has awareness, and it, it, sends, it sends information with all kinds. It has in interconnectedness, um, interleukins, and all kinds of me messengers, but it also has a local, a non-local kind of, non-local means that there's no from A to B. It just happens, like in quantum physics. The immune system has the, the ability, once it knows that there's an infection here, it has a local way of getting information out, but also has a non-local where immediately the whole body knows that there's something wrong. Uh, and that's a quantum event. And that's been shown in quantum physics, which is, you know, subatomic, but it works also like that. And um, uh, one of the ways to prove that is a, a photon is, a, is a, a, the smallest particle of a, of a light. And to show the interconnectedness, you can have a photon and I'm not going to bore you with you know, the physics, but just to, so you can see how, how beautiful this is. A photon goes this way, and another photon goes this way. And then you do something to this photon, and immediately, faster than the speed of light, which means it has to be non-local, this photon is affected. Why? Because it's, inter it's an interconnectedness at the sub-nuclear level. Well, there's, a, there's an interconnectedness at this level, too. It's just that we don't know how to measure it yet. And, and the immune system does that, and the nervous system does that and the endocrine system does that. So they're interconnected, and they're, they're inseparable in how they work. 